right, Gideon, we're going to be looking at some hydrogen gas and some of its interesting properties today. Yeah. And to get some hydrogen gas, we're going to need a chemical reaction between hydrochloric acid and aluminum. And for that, we're just going to use a piece of aluminum foil. I'm going to get one of these sheets, and if you can get those beaker tongs there. I'm just going to fold us up some aluminum foil here. And I'm going to have you in just a minute place right. that in. Let's get our safety goggles on first. So when I pull the top off of this, you're just going to drop that down into the beaker. All right, and we'll put the cap back on. Now it's going to sit there for a couple minutes, and what's going to happen is that aluminum foil's in there. The acid's going to begin to dissolve the aluminum foil. Eventually there won't be any left, you're right. And as it's happening though, it's going to break apart the hydrogen atoms from the hydrochloric acid molecules. And the hydrogen gas will come out through here. It's going to bubble through this water here just to get any acid fumes that may come out. And it's going to come back out the top. But we need something to catch that acid in, so I'm going to take my stopper out there. And we're just going to put a balloon yeah. on top to catch the hydrogen gas. So we're going to let that sit for a couple minutes and shortly we'll begin to see it bubbling and reacting. So what you see here, you start to see some little bubbles forming in the acid there. That's hydrogen gas escaping out. They're going through the hose and now you can see they're bubbling out into here. And you can see the bubbles coming out into our water there. That's going to rise up into the balloon. Because one thing that we know about hydrogen is that it's lighter than the air in the room. So it's, it's like going to float at the top. Kind of like helium. You're right. It's actually it's even lighter than helium. Yep. Very light gas. And did you, is there anything else you know about hydrogen? It's very flammable. Very flammable. And it explodes. It can. And it's hot. And it's hot when it burns. You're right. So we're making our hydrogen gas here and we're just going to collect it in the balloon. And then we will take a look at some of those other properties. Okay, Gideon, looks like our aluminum foil is dissolved. Looks like our balloon is ready. So we're just going to pull that off and we're just going to kind of let the pressure off here. All right, Gideon, so there is your balloon full of hydrogen. Yay. Lighter than the air in our room, floats up to the ceiling if you let it. We've got our balloons filled with hydrogen, but first, let's just look at a regular balloon. We're going to hold a flame underneath the regular balloon. I'm going to give you this stick and hold it up there. We're just going to light the end of it. All right, now I just want you to hold that under our regular balloon. Okay, so that's a balloon that's just filled with air that I blew in it. That's what we expect to happen, right? Mm -hmm. You put a hole in a balloon, which the fire did, and it pops. But next, let's look at our hydrogen balloon. All right, Gideon, so now we've got our hydrogen balloons. We saw what happens with a regular balloon. It just pops like balloons do. Yeah. All right, now we've blown up three of them, and we're just going to, I'm going to have you light my stick there, and then just back up a little bit, and we're going to go ahead and light our hydrogen balloons here and see the difference between a flammable gas and non-flammable. 